Hey, Darren. Hey, Monica. What's that next to you? That's a giant iguana. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live on a boat? To sell everything you own, untie from the dock, and head for the horizon? That's exactly what we did. So climb aboard and come with us as we go seeking adventure. We're just trying to get to the other side of the island. And it doesn't look like it's far, maybe a couple hundred meters max, but it just looks like a bunch of uh, mangroves. So we'll see if there's a path. This looks like a dead end. Unless you want to beat your way through that stuff, which I don't think we do. There we go. Oh, I think we're on to something, Monica. If we ask that lady on the porch, we risk her saying it's private. Yeah, you're right. Better to ask for forgiveness permission sometimes. <laughs> you found it, Dan. I think we found it, but I don't think we're going to be able to go out on it. This guy is, uh, it's no good for her. Yeah. Very rocky, very uh, uneven and sharp. Did you find the uh, perfect view? I did. It's amazing. You have to go up there, Monica. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Once you get to the top of that cliff, you can just see forever out to the east over the ocean. But uh, you know, north and south also, just down the, the rocky uh, cliffs. It's really beautiful. Well, we found the blowhole right there. It is um, not doing too much because it's not too wavy. I guess it requires a lot more uh, waves for it to really spew out a lot. It really sounds like a gurgling monster with a tummy ache. So uh, we're leaving Black Point Settlement behind. Uh, I think probably our favorite anchorage that we've been at so far. Very, very uh, good hospitality, I'd say. They had a, a free party, basically, for the whole weekend that we were here. They were celebrating a, a win in a regatta here in the Bahamas, and they invited us. So wonderful, wonderful time at Black Point. Good anchorage, nothing but sand to drop the anchor in, so it held held really well, but this is as far south as we're going. We're currently headed back north. So Monica, where are we? Why are we here? And what do you want to do? <laughs> iguanas, iguanas, iguanas. That has been on our list since we got to the Exumas. We tried to go to a um, key coming down, going south, at a place with a lot of iguanas, but when we got there, they were all sleeping. We are at uh, Bitter Guana Key, is what it's called, and as you can see behind me, there are a lot of iguanas here, and it is early in the day, so they're definitely not sleeping. So I look forward to getting in the dinghy. I'm gonna bring some frozen veggies, that's all I have. <laughs> Let's see if they if they like it. So I'm pretty pretty excited about this. Aren't you afraid of iguanas, Monica? I will keep my distance. I'll throw the food to Th them. Throw not, the food at them. At, right. Not at them, but I'll throw it to them. They like frozen. 
It turns out that they love uh, mixed frozen vegetables. Even uh, Darren's uh, hated green beans. <laughs> it all went down. So we have one more bag, so we'll see if we want to sacrifice our last bag of frozen veggies. What do you think, Darren? I think we give them the green beans. <laughs> all right. I went to the other side of the island. Barefoot? Yes, and that was a little treacherous when I got to the rocks, but for the most part you're in sand. Barefoot is not the smartest thing we've done. You did that pretty gracefully though. Yeah. I, was, I was pretty happy with I'm that. Tr I'm trying to tread very lightly so when I do step on something sharp I have time to pick my foot back up. Yeah, and those little shells are like needles. Yeah, and there's burrs too in the grassy area but uh, yeah, no blood so far. So a little bit off the beaten path at the Iguana Key. This is the other side of the island. I don't see any iguanas or tourists. Uh, it was worth the trip. much to see but still just beautiful you're swimming in an aquarium can't get any better than that in my opinion so what do you think Monica are you happy with the uh, trip to the iguana key absolutely I think this was worth the stop and thankfully the weather is cooperating because if we didn't have this weather we wouldn't have been able to stop so right I'm so we got a, we got a couple smooth days ahead yes. hopefully so then we'll leave tomorrow and go up to Rachel's bubble bath yes Exactly. So this has been outstanding. We just left our anchorage at Bitter Guana Key. Had a beautiful day, just one night at anchor. There's really not much to do there other than snorkel, have fun, and visit with the iguana. So we did that. So we want to uh, keep going. So we just fueled, that went uh, pretty smooth. So now we're gonna back out of here and continue up to Foul Key. It's um, another two hours or so away from where we're at. So we're currently now just waiting for that catamaran to get out of our way and then we're gonna free up the fuel dock for the next boat. Oh my god, 
Oh, can we take these off? Yeah, we can take these off. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the roller coaster ride. I mean, it just goes from being beautiful to very difficult and challenging. You just can't take anything for granted. Yeah, yesterday evening was just wonderful. We had the anchorage to ourselves. It was calm, it was warm, we swam, we laid on the deck, it was perfect. And then today we get up to move and yeah, rough seas, much rougher than were predicted. Lots of wind, much more wind than was predicted. Yep. Our first anchorage, we went into it, we dropped the anchor, but it didn't really work out. It was There was really not enough protection. So we picked it up, came over here, much happier with this, because at least we can get to shore. We couldn't over there, but it's, it's gonna be a little bit rougher than I think we anticipated. We do have problems with the windlass. We feel like we have only a, a, num a few more numbers of pulls before that windlass is gonna say no more. Yeah, it's joined the list of things that we can't count on. So yeah, I think we probably need to go to the beach. I think so too. Here we are at Rachel's Bubble Bath on Compass Key. It's a really cool place and we're waiting for high tide so that we can snorkel this bubble bath and see if we see any fish. we go to a new place I keep saying this is the prettiest we've ever seen and then we go to the next place and it's like no this is the prettiest we've ever seen and that pretty much sums up our Bahamas so far and we have still a lot more to come it's it's just total bliss is all I can say My job to make sure we get out alive, Monica. Darren's a little worried because the, the uh, gap to the cave is closing quickly. And we don't know how much current is here. But I haven't read about any reviews saying it's very dangerous, but of course there's always somebody gotta be the first. Get trapped in there until the next tide. Get yeah. trapped in there until the next tide, which is this evening. You're gonna have to come and feed me then. Right. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy the We can stay here for a while as long as the uh, opening doesn't shut Somewhere in the cradle room. When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole Here, I think some of those bigger fish are yeah. good for eating. Yeah. 
we're actually in the land and sea park though, so. Yeah, yeah, so that's that true. Oh, yeah. I'm not suggesting that. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that. We don't need to scale anything. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cool to see the same thing. Maybe that's why they're here, because nobody's going to kill them. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all done. Wait, hold on. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. So oh.